what are these 10 commandments you're talking about? I just want to buy a house. I saw an infographic just a couple of days ago about 10 commandments on things not to do when you're in the process of buying a house. I thought it was very interesting. It's very detailed. Some of these things are very simple and some things maybe you don't think about. So we'll be going through this in a two part series. This is the first video. The next video will be out in a couple of days and then you'll be able to see exactly all the things you should not do when you're in a process of buying a house. So the first one is thou shalt not change jobs, become self-employed or quit your job. This is pretty self-explanatory. If you've got your pre-approval by the bank, you put an offer in, the bank gives you the green light, your financing is approved. The last thing the bank wants to see or your financial institution is instability of you in your job, your income. So make sure that if you are looking for a new job, maybe it could wait until you take possession because once you take possession, then it doesn't really matter. So make sure that you keep all of that stable until you take possession. The second one is thou shalt not buy a car, truck or van because this affects your credit in a big way. So let's say today your car is paid off, you turn around, you decide to go buy a new car. Now you have an extra payment which will change your credit rating number one because they'll do a credit check on you and then it changes also your monthly expenses for buying the house. So make sure that you know, you wait until you take possession before buying a new car, it'll save you a lot of headaches. The third one is thou shall not use credit cards excessively or let current, current accounts fall behind. That's the last thing you want to do. Make sure your credit cards are managed properly. You're not getting close to the, uh, to the max of your credit card because that affects your credit rating. And then whenever you take possession, the bank will re-verify your credit score to make sure everything is still nice and clean. Don't spend too much money, wait until you move in. Number four is thou shalt not spend money you have set aside for closing. When you're buying a house, you have money set aside for your deposit, your legal fees, um, your land transfer tax, all these closing costs, that money should be there on closing because then you're not going to run into any kinds of problems trying to get money to close on the house. You have that money set aside, don't touch it, leave it there. Number five, thou shall not omit debts or liabilities on your loan application. So when you're applying for the loan, make sure you disclose everything you have from the smallest to the biggest loan because this will, it can affect your credit rating, but it also tells the bank, the lender, the mortgage broker that you know exactly where you are, what you're doing, where you're going. So this makes your life a lot easier, makes your lender's life a lot easier because you disclose everything, then it's not a surprise when they run your application through because whether you like it or not, they're gonna find out what your loans are. So this is the part one of the 10 commandments. I'll be releasing the other video very shortly, so keep an eye out. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, if you wanna discuss the buying process, make sure to give me a quick call or you can always email me at jeanrichet.com. At Merci beaucoup et bonne journée.